Hello, I'm Jill Erbach and I am living the midlife. Are you tired of your lipstick rubbing off on your mask? Today I'm reviewing four affordable drugstore lipstick brands and I'll share with you which ones will not rub off on your mask. Let's get started. So this has been a weird year, starting with stay-at-home orders back in April. Once those were lifted and we were able to go out once in a while, I still didn't actually go out, but I went to the grocery store and the first couple times, guess what I did? I was so happy to go out, I did my makeup, I put on some lipstick, put on my mask, and it was a mess. Not only did it smear all over my face, but of course my mask was a mess too. So what did I do? I stopped wearing lipstick. I didn't wear any for months because nobody would see. And then a couple of weeks ago, I had a hot date with my husband. It was our first time out to a real restaurant in four months. So of course it was a big occasion. I dressed up, I did my makeup, but I remembered not to put on lipstick because of course, what did I have to wear to the restaurant? My mask. And it was a lovely evening. We sat outside on the patio, but at a restaurant, guess what you get to do when your drinks come? you get to take your mask off. And that's when I realized, oh, now it would be nice to have some lipstick. Cause I don't know about you, but when I do my makeup, but I don't put on any lipstick at all, even a nude lip, I look unbalanced. So suddenly I wasn't feeling so pretty. So that's when I decided that I needed to find a lipstick that I could wear that wouldn't rub off onto the mask and wouldn't smear all over my face. So on those precious occasions when I could take off my mask in public, I still looked nice. So I took myself to the drugstore and found some affordable brands that I'm gonna review for you today. First, let me share with you my scientific process. I put on the lipstick, I waited five minutes, put on my mask, but you know, when you go out, you don't just wear a mask, you talk to people. Even if you're just going to the grocery store, you're gonna to talk to the checkout lady. Plus, I live in a small town, so I can't get out of the produce section without seeing five people I know. So I devised the Gettysburg Address Test. What's the Gettysburg Address test, you ask? Well, with my mask on, I read the Gettysburg Address. That way it was consistent every time. I was talking the same amount. You know the Gettysburg Address. In fact, I bet you could say the first six words with me right now. Let's do it together. Four score and seven years ago, told you you knew it. In fact, pause this video right now and see how many more words of the Gettysburg Address you know. If you know more than the first six words, I am so impressed and you deserve a pat on the back. So now's your chance to brag. Tell me in the comments below how far you got. Okay, now that you've reviewed the Gettysburg Address, let's talk about why we're here. Lipstick. The first one I reviewed was Burt's Bees Moisturizing Lip Balm. I actually wouldn't have thought a balm would last, but I had read an article where somebody had listed long wearing lipsticks that wouldn't rub off on your mask. And so I thought, well, I'll try it. She obviously didn't have a Gettysburg Address test because I'm sad to say this one failed. You can see in the picture of the mask. Sorry, Burt. The next one I tried was this CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lipstick. This is color 310 Seduce Scarlet. What a great name. In fact, I really like the color. It's the one I'm wearing right now. Sadly, Scarlet didn't last either. Here's a picture of the mask after the Gettysburg Address Test. Sorry, Scarlet. Before I share the next two with you that actually did work, if you're getting value out of this video, I hope you'll hit the like button. Next, I tried Maybelline Superstay 24 Color. This one is number 55 Perpetual Plum. Really liked the color and I'm gonna call this a pass. Here's a picture of the mask and you can barely see just a little smudge, but it's so inconsequential. And besides, I like this color. <laughs> so I think we're gonna count it. Fortunately, they have a lot of shades in this brand and so I'm gonna have to explore them because it worked well. But my favorite one by far was this Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede Lipstick. This color is number 25, Socialite, and it's a nice neutral shade. Not only did this one not come off on the mask at all, totally passing the Gettysburg Address Test, but it was comfortable. It didn't feel drying like a lot of Colorstay lipsticks can, and it lasted for hours. I happened to walk by a mirror later after doing the Gettysburg Address Test and eating a bowl of ice cream, and it totally still looked fresh. So that's my new go-to. Fortunately, there's lots of colors on that one too, so I think I'm gonna have to get a little wardrobe of the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede Lipstick. 
Well, that's all I have for you today. Have you found any lipsticks that have worked for you? If you have some amazing long-wearing lipsticks that have not smudged all over your face or on your mask, please let us know in the comments. Let's share our information so we can continue to look good through quarantine. Also, if you'd like more videos about living the midlife without crisis, feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell so it will let you know the next time I post a video. I'll see you next time. And remember, it's your midlife. Make the best of it. I tried Maybelline Super, uh, what is it? Superstar? No, Super Stay. It's not Super, Superstar.